Hey everyone, Cody here. And it's been a little while since I posted. Um, there's been a lot going on with kind of this stuff at home, but also my work stuff. Actually, my website got deleted. Um, like it wouldn't allow me to upload stuff, and so I actually had to reset my website. I exported all my data, and then I had to reset my website from scratch because it's a WordPress website. And when I went to import everything, it actually said it was corrupted. So I had to basically start over. So I've been spending some time redoing my website. Um, also, I've kind of, I wanted to try some new stuff. So I had to get some more paint. Um, you'll notice that I have a canvas here today instead of the watercolor paper that I've been using. I don't know. The watercolor paper is maybe good for some people, but it's just not working for me. I don't know if it's just because it's watercolor paper and not um, something else. I think maybe if I was using like, say, Arches paper, which I think is a little thicker, it probably wouldn't warp as much as uh, the watercolor paper is. So it could just be that it's paper. I also kind of miss just painting on canvas. So I've been doing a lot of paintings lately on the, on the paper and the problem with the paper is that it warps. Um, so once I paint it, it it warps so then it, the paint starts to move and you know that's just not it's not doing a lot for me so i don't know if you can see my color so i'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can kind of see what i'm doing um today i'll be using white uh it's like a light blue and a light yellow and I, i'm going to try kind of using less paint instead of a lot i'm going to try to learn to use less paint in these paintings and these, mostly these scrape paintings is probably what I'll do mostly from this point on um, also I am going to be using a new tool that I just picked up today from Home Depot basically it's a it's a trowel but it's got a rubber foam uh, end on it so it's like it's it's smooth uh, smoother than the, the flat plastic trowel that I tend to use and it's got a little texture to it. So I'm kind of curious to see how that creates the paintings. Because I, I may do splash paintings with it. I don't know. So we're going to go ahead and start with the yellow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put it right on this little brush thing. And we're going to see how it holds up. Like how what it looks like to use it. Like I said, I've never used it. And actually, I kind of like that texture already, actually. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go ahead and run it across. And I'm going to get the whole canvas covered so that we don't have any white spots coming through. Even though I'll be using white, um, I don't want to like leave the white uh, spots because it, it looks different. Uh, white, like white on canvas looks different than raw canvas if that makes sense so and one thing I tend not to do that I should probably do is I don't generally wash off my tools in between the colors and working with gloss and enamel like I do um, or even the acrylic I cut us up but uh, the gloss enamel tends to mix the colors really easily and I think it's just because it's a thin paint so I've, I've noticed some issues with that so I'm going to clean this off in the in the meantime so what I'm going to do first though is I'm going to go ahead and cover the sides so that the sides are already pre-colored that way if uh, if the color doesn't extend over the sides they already have some color on them we don't really have to worry about it. It'll already be, it'll already be uh, textured. So let's put some yellow on there. And I actually don't know how much of this you can see, but just running the running this tool along the edge of it. And there we go. All right. So now we've got that on there. Uh, looks pretty good. So 
I should probably clean it off because I have a feeling that as soon as I don't, or if I don't, it's going to start to mix the colors. Although we could just use it and kind of see what happens. Again, this is my first time using this, so. Um, let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and just use it uh, just to see what happens. So I'm not going to fill the whole thing. I'm just going to put the paint like in the middle. And then we're going to go this way with it. Oh no, it leaked off the side. <laughs> Okay, that's not bad. Um, I think maybe what I'll do is I'll probably put it there. And then I'll kind of go back to the edge and then bring it back forward. That way the edge is covered. I'm not going to lie. I, I kind of like this. Uh, I kind of like the the design that it makes. It makes this nice like even scrape. And it doesn't stick. It doesn't stick to the uh, to the canvas like the flat um, trowel does. Sorry. Sorry, I can't think. Yeah. I'm just going to go over it a couple of times. Just give it a texture. Alright. So, starting to drip down the side. I think what I'll do is I'll probably just run this, run this paint over it. Just to kind of give it texture. And I can always go over it with another color later. Okay, so now I did blend the white and the yellow together to make this kind of opaque white. We're going to bring that across and you know what, we'll go ahead and bring this this way too with whatever paint's on there and that's just going to give it that scraped look. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and wash this off. And then we're going to do blue next. All right. So I'm not going to lie. This is a, it's a tough tool to clean out because it's a sponge almost. So it wants to absorb the water. It wants to absorb the, uh, the paint. So I may actually have to pick up more of these if I end up using it a lot. Um, so I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'll go ahead and do the blue. We'll put a line of it. That's not how much I meant to do, but we'll just deal with it. All right, so we're gonna run it to the edge. We're gonna pull it through. Okay, so if I don't push too hard, it, it creates these little gaps, which are kind of nice. So I, I like the way that it's, it's going. I do. I think I used too much paint, though, when I did it, because it's, you know, it's just filling up the whole thing with one color, which was not my intention. Um, now, it's got a cool kind of look to it. However, it's again, not what I was going for. So I'm wondering if I can kind of do what I normally do with the technique where I just kind of put it on the edges and then bring it across. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some paint sticks 
That way I can kind of drizzle the paint onto the edges. And we're gonna do it that way. So we're gonna drizzle the paint along the edges. I like to almost, almost write cursive with the paint. We'll do a little bit of yellow, a little drop off. And we'll do some here. Okay, cool. And then we're gonna do just a tiny bit of blue just cause it's already in the blue, but the blue will mix with those other colors to kind of create uh, whatever, whatever happens. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna set it on the paint. We're gonna pull it back a little bit to fill the edges. And then we're gonna bring it through. We're just gonna pull it straight through with a slow, even stroke. Okay. And we're gonna do the same, push it to the edge and then pull it back. Pull it all the way through, and it left a little bit of a bubble, so we're gonna kind of get rid of that bad boy, and that's it. So the end result is pretty, pretty interesting. I do like it. It's kind of a very subtle look. You can't really tell the other colors. But what's cool is it's, it's kind of faded. It's got the colors. I think I may actually have to do it again to really pull the colors out. It's very hard to see them. Um, so I think that this technique can work. I'd have to probably either do more paint um, or I'd have to do a couple of layers, which I may have to do here. Um, but I just actually set it in, in water, so um, I'm wondering if we can make it work with a spatula here. <clears throat> It's funny, you can see the difference in how thick the white is versus the yellow, because the yellow made these really thick lines, and the yellow, or the yellow made the thick lines, and the blue, or the white didn't. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just, we're gonna complete this painting by doing kind of the, my normal scrape style, if you will. kind of nice to paint on canvas again because you can actually pull pull it through and it doesn't warp like the paper's been doing. So that's kind of nice. And the one thing I hate is these, these little, I don't know how to explain them, these little higher, this, this where it cuts into the paint right there, these little trails. I don't know, maybe I should just leave them because as soon as I try to get rid of them, it ruins it. 
I think I'll just leave them. <clears throat> Although this one is a little, little pronounced. I don't know if I can get rid of it though. Alright, I'm gonna leave it. I actually don't hate this painting. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the sides with some extra paint. The neighbors are playing my favorite song, I think. I don't know what song that is. So, I'm gonna go ahead and touch up the edges. I'm going to use the blue, since that's like the darkest color on here. If the painting doesn't have a lot of dark colors, I try to do the edges the same color as the painting. Um, or one of the colors of the painting. And since the blue is on here and it's pretty pronounced, um, we're going to go ahead and use the blue. We'll go around it so we don't drip on there. Touch up these edges. Now, I can't lie, but the smell of this gloss enamel is pretty bad. Pretty bad. Oh. I accidentally touch that part, so I'm going to have to fix it. Hopefully I can. It's toasty out here today. So we got that. Now the problem that we have is I touched this, so I wonder if we can fix it. Alright, that's good. Cool, cool. So I actually like this painting. It's uh, very subtle. Kind of looks worn out. Let's, uh, let's bring it in so you guys can see it. Now this is the way that the painting, here let me zoom, oh it's all zoomed out already. Um, this is the way that the painting will go. However, I guess you could technically mount it this way. I don't know if you would, if you know, if you bought it. But uh, you can see that it's got the blue, the yellow, and the white in there. Very subtle. Um, but I, again, I think it turned out uh, pretty cool. It looks kind of worn. It's got the background colors. The whole thing is colored. Uh, I I don't hate it. So, anyways, guys. So I I like that foam trowel. I think I'm gonna use it again. Maybe I'll do a splash painting 
we'll see. But uh, hopefully you guys have a good rest of your day. Take care.